Hey everyone, Katie here, and today I'm bringing you a giant haul from e.l.f. Cosmetics, which is Eyes, Lips, Face. And if y'all don't know what e.l.f. is, it's a really, really affordable makeup brand. They're cruelty-free, and they're so awesome. Sometimes they're a little hit and miss, but basically everything that I'm going to be showing y'all, I've tried or other beauty gurus here on YouTube have tried and have just raved about them, so I had to get them when they did an awesome 50% off everything on their site sell. So, without further ado, let's crack into these boxes. Okay, so I've got box number one right here. We're going to cut into it. This is how big the box is. It's huge and it's filled with stuffs. So, let's see. pop their thing. These ones don't pop good. Oh well. Let's see here. Now, this first one looks to be all of. A lot of things that I ordered from the studio line. So, the first things I'm going to grab are all of these. These are some of their new lip stains. They're double ended. So, you've got the color, which is the lip stain, and then you got a clear gloss end. Really wanted to try these. Shan, Shannon from Shannon, Shan XO got these in one of her huge elf hauls and swatched them and they were so pretty that I just had to get them. So I got every color of them. And then I got one of these Prism eyeshadow palettes. And I got this one in darker, more like jewel toned colors. And it's so pretty. Look at that. I'll try not to blind y'all. There we go. He's so pretty. And I love their eyeshadows because they're so pigmented and they swatch so well. Then they just look beautiful on the eyes. Yeah. What you're seeing are actual swatches and they're gorgeous. So there's that. Now I'm not going to go through and swatch everything for y'all or we would be here for eternity. Probably even longer than the huge drugstore haul I put up. A few days ago so next thing I have is one of their makeup lock and seals heard fantastic things about these and that it compares to almost like the Il Mosca sealing gel stuff so decided to get one of those and then I got one of their baked highlighters and this is in pink diamonds and it just it looks so pretty on the website and Shannon got some of these and they swatched amazingly so I got um, uh, next thing I have is a big bag full of stuff again, so I'm just going to dig in. I got quite a few of just their studio blushes. I've got Twinkle Pink, Pink Passion, and Gotta Glow, which everybody that I've heard get this compares it to the NARS Albatross powder. So I'm definitely ready to try this because I really don't want to spend like 30 bucks on Albatross. So if this is as good as they say it is, I'm just going to stick with this $3 one. And then I got a couple of their primers. I got the Poreless Face Primer and the Hydrating Face Primer. And then I'm hoping the poreless one stands up to the Pore Professional from Benefit. That way I can just go with that one, which is $6. You get it 50% off. You spend $3 on it instead of $30. And then here's another one of their studio blushes. This is Giddy Gold. Giddy. Giddy, giddy, giddy. Yeah, I'm weird. And then I got another baked highlighter in Moonlight Pearls which instead of being a pink one, it's more of a champagne one. And then I got one of their baked blushes, and this is in Pink Tastic. And like, the color is so pretty. I'm hoping it, um, the way it looks, it looks like it might um, stand up to one of the Hourglass blushes, 
can't remember the name of the one I'm thinking about, but I will make sure to link it in the description. A few other things I got were I got two baked eyeshadow palettes, and these palettes are amazing. You can use them wet or dry, and the pigmentation on them is so good. And yeah, they were $2.50 a piece, I believe. And then, this is coming done, but I got their BB cream, and it's got a broad, spe broad spectrum SPF of 20 in it, and I just, I really wanted to try this, and it's a good value for a BB cream if it works really well. And then, I got a ton of their extra lip glosses. These are the super shiny ones and they're all named after like men. So we've got Brian and Brett and Joe. And then we have Michael and Mark. And then I think that's all of those. I'm pretty sure I got every single color in those. And then I got some of the Jumbo Lip Gloss Sticks because I just I wanted to try them. I've got four of these. They're just the giant like chubby pencil things. And then I got four um, of their just regular um, essential lip, lip stains. And I've got to tell you this pink one it is called Pink Petal. It's the exact same one that came in the Ariel um, collection set that they came out with just a few weeks ago with Walgreens. The exact same one. So if y'all like this color, it's always available. And then I got a few mineral lipsticks. And I've got Natural Nymph, which is that color. It's a nice nude. And then we've got Cool Coral, which of course is going to be a coral color. There's that. And a lot of the lipsticks I've got, I tried to get more nudes because I don't do nudes that often, which I don't know why I don't. And then this one is nicely nude. So. Those are the mineral lipsticks, and just let me know down below if you want me to do reviews over any of their lipsticks, eyeshadows, or anything, especially these that I'm about to show you. They're their single eyeshadows. Um, they just come in the single pan. They were 50 cents a piece with this cell, which is amazing. So I basically got one of every color. I have 14 altogether. So all of those. And then the last few things in this box are a couple of big things I got. The first thing is I got this Beauty Must Haves 80 Piece Day to Night Palette. I got it because I thought it would be really awesome to have a giveaway with. And then I've got some Geometric 36 Piece Eyeshadow Book. Which I love these Geometric ones. I have a big palette of them and I love using it. And I've got another of the Geometric 36 piece books, but in a different color scheme. And then for myself, since Abby from Color Sweat Beauty raved about this, I just had to get it. And it's the 50 piece makeup artist palette. You get a whole thing of eyeshadows and a full like palette of their blushes and bronzers. And oh my gosh, I'm so ready to crack into this and swatch it for y'all. I'll definitely be doing a review on this palette. And the great thing about this, it's usually $30. And then it was on sale for $15. So I got it half off. So I've got this huge thing for $7.50. Which is amazing if you ask me. So yeah, that's all for this box. And now it's time to get cracking into the second one. Okay, time to get cracking into this second box. It's humongous. So I'm just going to cut it open here. Okay. 
and hope I will cut myself in the process. Okay. So we have a flat poofy thing. And one that's actually in there. Okay. We've got this huge bag of stuff right here. And so I'm gonna sit this box right there and get into it. Okay, the first things I'm seeing on top here are these smudge pots I ordered. I ordered just a few colors in these, not all of them, because I do love the Maybelline color tattoos, so I just I wanted to get some that I thought would maybe compare to them to compare them to the Maybelline color tattoos as well as the um, cream shadows I have from Benefit. So I've got Brownie Points, uh, Back to Basics, Gotta Glow, uh, Poppin' Party, Ain't That Sweet, and Cruisin' Chic. And then I got one of the bronzing powders with the four colors in it, and this is the Cool Bronzer. I also got a few of their concealer palettes just because I really wanted to try them and see if they actually were full coverage concealers. So I got the For Fair to Light Skin Tones Complete Coverage Concealer Palette. And then I have the Erase and Conceal Concealer Palette. And then I got just a few of their um, little $1 liquid liners which ended up being 50 cents a piece. I've got the black one because this black one everybody raves about it. Um, Abby from Color Set Beauty and Andrea from and Andrea Montalano. I'm sorry if I just screwed your name up. And then Ashley from um, shoot why can't I remember her last name? I'll link all their channels down below so y'all can go check them out. But all of them rave about this, the Essentials Studio Liquid Liner in Black. So I just had to get it to try it. Uh, like I said, I've got the Midnight one. I've got a silver one. And then I have a copper one, which is a glitter one. I cannot wait to use. I'm pretty sure I got one more. And I did. I got Stardust, which is a multicolored reflecting white glitter and then I got another corrective concealer palette this is to neutralize and conceal and then I got the golden bronzer um, four shade bronzer powder as well then I wanted to try their flawless finish foundation I got it in porcelain of course because a lot of beauty blogs and everything compare this to the NARS, um, I think it's the Radiant Glow Foundation. So I definitely can't wait to try this out and hopefully it conceals really well and does give me that flawless finish. And I'll definitely be going to get a sample of the NARS foundation from like Sephora so that I can compare the two side by side and let me know if you want a video on that comparison and then I got some the I got one of their lip lock pencils which I've heard amazing things about it's just a basically a primer for the lips and then I got both of their radiance enhancer pins which have been compared to the MAC like radiance pins or whatever. So I got Sunrise and Spotlight. And then I've got quite a few of their matte lip colors. I've got Praline, Rich Red, um, I've got a moisturizing lipstick in Coral Cutie. And then I got their Exact Lash Mascara because Abby from Color Sub Beauty once again raved about this one because the brush is so tiny and 
like she used it for her bottom lashes and that's exactly why I got it to use for my bottom lashes because my bottom lashes are so teeny tiny that the big mascara ones always just like hit the actual skin of my lower lash line and just smudges black everywhere. So I've got another moisturizing lipstick in Party in the Buff. A velvet rope and then a matte lipstick in nearly nude and then another moisturizing lipstick in pink mint another matte lip color in coral and then I've got one in natural another moisturizing lipstick in flirty and fabulous and then the last lipstick in here is a moisturizing one in Wink Pink. I'm pretty sure y'all can tell I went crazy with the lip products just because I have so much stuff in like foundations and powders and a ton of blushes and bronzers and all that. Um, I went a little crazy in concealers because I wanted more concealers to try. But my the lip section of my makeup collection is just, it's lacking so much and I don't have an array of colors which I'm always wishing I did. So I definitely hit the, their lipsticks like crazy. And then this last little bag, I got their big 24 piece studio brush set which comes with this um, makeup brush belt which I've heard is a pretty dang good belt. So I'm going to slip it out and this is what it looks like, it's just a black one and it's got so many brush holders and it feels so soft and luxurious and then you've got the little part that you can put around you and then I've got all these which are the makeup brushes of course. And I think this tells me which makeup brushes come in it. We've got a small smudge brush, a complexion brush, powder brush, fan brush, angled foundation brush, contour brush, concealer brush, eyeshadow brush, small precision brush, small angled brush, a blush brush, an angled contour brush, an angled eyeliner brush, a lash and brow comb, a stipple brush, a retractable lip brush, a mineral powder brush, a glitter eyeshadow applicator, a small tapered brush, an angled blush brush, a flat eyeliner brush, a flawless concealer brush, a pointed foundation brush, a kabuki face brush, and then the brush belt. And I'm so ready to clean all these and crack into them just because I love the studio line. They are so soft and you like get no shedding out of these. Sorry, there's just one hair out of place and it bugged me. But they're so soft. And the brush that I really, really wanted out of here, let's see if I can find it. It was this one. The This is the pointed foundation brush. And I got it because Jaclyn Hill uses one of Sigma's pointed foundation brushes. Oh my gosh. Okay, this one's shedding like crazy. I might have to call them about that. Yeah. Maybe it's just a fluke. Okay, there we go. There's just a few shutters in there. But she uses a pointed foundation brush to like blend out her concealer under her eyes. And so I really wanted this brush to see if it would do the same thing as that Sigma one. So I'm really ready to try it and I will definitely let y'all know how that is and let me know if you want a full review on this brush set. Okay? But awesome. We got through all two boxes and I think this should be a pretty short video, hopefully. But yeah. That's all I got. Um, let me know in the comments below if there's any products or a line of products that I got that you want me to review. I know I'm definitely going to review um, that big palette and I'll probably do a swatch video of all the lipsticks. So yeah, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. 
Also, click that subscribe button down below and subscribe to my channel. Help me grow it. As well, don't forget to go on over to all my social media sites and like them. Um, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Tumblr, all those are linked down in the script down in the description box as always and I hope y'all have a fabulous day and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye!